Okay, Ian. Ian Barrett, um, you got in touch regarding an incredible story happening down there in Waterford um, with regard to your girls. Can you tell us all about it, starting with yourself and, and the setup down there? Yeah, um, I'm involved with Bohemians based in Waterford. We're a city centre club. Um, we're the biggest club in Waterford um, in terms of teams, etc. Along with one of our biggest rivals, Villa. Um, we cater for uh, underage and with junior setups. We have school by teams that play from under 11 up to under 16. We have seven school girls teams that play from under 12 up to under 19. And then we have our junior teams, our men's senior teams. And in 12 months' time, we'll be progressing on to having um, a senior ladies' team, which will be a new venture for us. Um, I'm involved in the club since 2009, when I began coaching with the club. And um, I suppose I started with the academy. And I progressed my way up initially through the, the school by section before in 2017, um, getting involved with the school girls' side of things as well. And two years ago, um, I became the club secretary. So I'm kind of involved with a, a lot of things within the club, um, which can be time consuming, but ultimately very rewarding. Um, we've made great strides over the last couple of years with our school girls section, um, which we only began in 2017. And we only had three teams when we started. We had two under 12 teams and an under 14 team. So we progressed that now up to having the seven teams who will play under 12A, 12B, 14A, 14B, under 16, under 17 and under 19. And I suppose our, our base of players has grown substantially over those couple of years. Um, and a lot of the girls who are now playing under 19 and under 17 would have started with us when we began in 2017. Um, and indeed, out of the squad, we have a squad of 20 players that would have played under 16 that won the SFEI Cup. 16 of them would have began, we'd say, playing football with our club, which is great to see the progress that they made from where they began to where they reached. That's 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 an incredible uh, story, and it's lovely to hear something so fresh. You know, just starting what six seven years ago, six years yeah. ago, 2017, and. Um, you know, just before we move on, I, I'd like to just touch on um, how wh what has it felt like for you to see this move from working with boys so much now fully integrated to the girls, and seeing the success of it and the and the 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 growth in it. What does that feel like from someone that's been in football? Um, it's a wonderful feeling. Um, I suppose before I got involved with the girls side of things. Um, I won't say I was chauvinistic, but you would have had your preconceived ideas about what girls' football was. And it's only when you see the development of it and the effort that the girls put into it that you truly appreciate um, where they've come from. Because a lot of the girls that we had in 2017 who began, they, weren't, they didn't have the same, I suppose, um, start that the boys had in that they would have been in academies from the age of four upwards. So the girls missed out on quite a few years of the formative years, getting the basic skills. So to see where they've come from from there to now is really just a phenomenal effort on their part um, with their dedication and their commitment to developing themselves. You know, Because even during COVID, when we lost two years of, of soccer, um, the girls were training away on their own. We gave them um, training sessions to do at home to keep them improving. And others went off and done extra on top of that. And came back stronger than ever, you know, which is a testament to their dedication. Um, but they're just a phenomenal uh, particular group of girls. And I suppose girls' soccer has just, female sport has exploded over the last couple of years. And with the ladies' team in the World Cup starting in two weeks' time, the growth is even going to be a bit more. Um, it really is a wonderful success story. And um, I think the promotion that they're getting now is fantastic because before it wouldn't have been there. Um, whereas now you see with social media sites and the general media um, they are promote um, female sport a hell of a lot more you know and in a lot of ways the, the females are leading the way we don't see our men's qualifying for World Cups or Euros our ladies have done it you know um, and it's the same in a lot of sports 